If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out FIFA Ultimate Team Coins. Their link will be in the description and use the code ETONY to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome to the Foot Titties. Today we're going to be looking at who I'm going to vote for and which players I am going to be choosing. And uh, it looks like it's not as as I thought it would be because I thought you could actually vote for any pink player you would like. Like I wanted to vote for a pink sow, but it turns out EA picks out who you have to vote for. So it's pretty much, um, it's just not unfortunately the way I wanted it to be. But I have to give them credit. This year they've released so many uh, content to FIFA um, compared to last year, it's, it's great, man. It just keeps things going. And as you guys know, in the summer, FIFA is pretty much the dead period. But with these, you know, with this and sort of new content coming along, it just keeps the game a bit more alive. But anyway, if you guys are looking for a place to get PSN cards and Microsoft points to get ready for these pin cards, the voting close on the 20th, uh, sorry, not the 20th, the 12th of July, midnight UK time. Make sure you check the link in the description if you want to vote and uh hopefully some of our votes actually win so anyway let's see some of the players that we vote for hopefully they win but i don't know so let's see the categories the first one is in for safe hands by the way you need an ea forum account to vote and actually we can actually see who is winning so we have Moslero, leno surugu handanovic and loris now in an ideal situation I would actually vote for Handanovic, but you have to think this, uh, well, you're going to have to think outside the box. Is Handanovic going to be a popular pick? Not exactly, because not too many people are going to go for him. Now, I did tweet out a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, tweets asking, what did you guys vote for? And surprisingly, Sirugu is the most popular pick. I've seen Leno get picked a lot, but I'm going to go with Sirugu. For my Serie A team, I could actually fit him in there because he's Italian, so uh, Chiellini and Benucci team season, he will fit in there. So my vote for this uh, category is going to go for Sirugu. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, what do you guys vote for? Because this is going to be interesting. So Sirugu is going to get my vote. Let's see what is the results. Surugu is currently winning with 13,519 votes. Um, Handanovic is... Uh, Maslara gets last place, but Handanovic is in fourth place, as I expected. Um, even though, like I said, I would love him to be in the uh, uh, the winner of this uh, category, but it looks like he won't be. But uh, Sirugu gets our vote, and he is winning right now. And it's quite far behind. I don't know. Uh, it depends. We'll see. There's still a long time to vote for these two players, so we'll see. Next one is in for the tackles. Let's see who is uh, nominated. So, in an ideal situation, I would go for De Rossi, just because of my team, you know. I would love De Rossi to win, but I know Yaya Torre is going to get... Uh, I know Yaya Torre is just a lot more popular and a lot more players uh, use him in their teams. So, he's going to probably win. So, I might go for Kadira, because Kadira is a popular option, in my opinion, I think. He should be, because I love him in this game. So, I'm going to go for Kadira in, uh, in this category. Let me know in the comment section below, which one would you go for? So Kadira is going to get my vote, even though I would love the Rossi, but I'm going to have to think this in a different way. So Kadira, look at that, it's Yaya Tori. There's no, there's no uh, competition in this category. Yaya Tori is going to win this, so he's going to get a pink card. So the only thing I dislike about people voting for Yaya Tori here is because he already has like a man of the match and inform. So that's one of the things I wouldn't wanted people to vote for him, but I guess he's a popular player, so it only makes sense. Next up, we have in for the skills. Let's see who is uh, nominated for this. Oh, shit. Hmm. In an ideal situation, I would actually go for Shikawi, even though he's had a couple of informs. Oh, oh my god, I forgot. I, I didn't even see him. Sifsi is actually sick. He has really high strength, a silver player, but you have to remember, he's going to be extinct. So, not many people are going to be opening silver packs, and I would drop to see a uh, pink uh, Shikawi. What do you guys think? Pink Shikawi or no? Um... I'm gonna go with Shikawi for this one. Let's see who is winning. Quaresma? What? Even though he's had the man of the match card and an inform, Quaresma is winning. Oh my god. Not the player I wanted. Not, not a player that I'm too interested in the pink card for, but um, I could see why he is like Portuguese in FC Porto. So it, it makes sense, but oh my god. Quaresma, that's an interesting pick. I can't, I can't believe he's he's got the most popular pick. Um, but anyway, that's that's there you go. Shikawi is um, close, but not that close. <laughs> anyway, let's go for the long shots. This is gonna be an interesting category, actually. Long shot wise, 
Oh my god, Hernandez and Guarim. I would love to get a Guarim pink card. But Rooney's in there, so Rooney is going to be the most popular option, I think. Just the Premier League play, you know. Guarin would be amazing, man. I just don't think people are going to vote for him. But I'm going to go with Guarin, even though I know he's not going to be the most popular option. So please, show me. <laughs> show, please show me, like, uh, Guarin at least is close to Rooney. And, um, yeah. He is close, but, like, 4,000 votes different. So I, I knew it. Rooney is going to get a pink card, it looks like, but there's still time to get these uh, votes changed. So make sure if you, if anyone that follows me on, the, on my channel that hasn't voted yet, go and make sure you vote because this is very important. We want our ideal players to get pink cards, but like I said, I knew the most popular option is going to be Rooney. Um, in for the headers, <clears throat> let's see. In for the headers, oh my god. Oh, Cavani, that's a good one. I, wouldn't, I, I don't really play with Miroslav Klose, so I don't really care about him. Um, I would like to see a Cavani card, Mandzukic card, wouldn't the Mandzukic card be a Juve card? I'm not sure yet. Um, Cavani I think is going to be getting my vote here because I would love to see um, another player that you could pop as a striker other than Lacazette and Ibra in the League 1, you know? So Cavani is going to get my vote here and Cavani is winning so that's uh, that's a player I will be happy to get a pink card for. So um, he's going to be in packs hopefully but like, the difference is pretty big between him and Mandzukic, so I can't see Mandzukic catching up that uh, anytime soon, really. In the leadership, let's see what we have here. Ooh, oh, Pirlo! Oh, man. I was going to vote for Ronaldinho, and then I saw Pirlo. <laughs> uh, um, there's pretty good, like, there's pretty good players in this. Lampard, Ronaldinho, Gerard, Pirlo, Xavi. I know why people would be voting for Ronaldinho, because... People would just love to have uh, to, to get him a special card because he's never had one, well he hasn't had one for a while now so I could see why but I can't just I can't just not vote for the legend Pirlo you know even though they're both legends well actually everyone here is a legend right yeah pretty much so I'm gonna go with Pirlo let's see yep Ronaldinho wins and he's gonna get the pink card. Unfortunately, um, I will still be happy with that because he will go into my Brazilian team. I do need a better center attack in mid, and or maybe he will be a really good central mid. So not too bad. I'm not too bad. Um, you know, not too upset about that. And uh, let's move on. So in for the weak foot. Let's see what we have here. In for the weak foot. It's fallen to the wrong foot, but there will be no balloons or on the hits from this bunch. Okay, so Ericsson is a very awesome player that I've used in this ultimate team since he's had an upgraded center attack and mid card. Um, Totti would be an amazing one, but I just can't see him winning, so I can't see him getting uh, a lot of votes just because of how much pace he has as well. So I think Ericsson is going to win this, so I'm going to go for Ericsson as well just to make sure he gets the pink card. And um, there you go, I knew it. <laughs> Totti, look at that. There was no point of me even voting for him. 5,883 votes. There you go. See? Out of position. This is going to be an interesting one. They have their position. You've got different ideas. They're players that you shift around the pitch regardless of chemistry. Okay. Ooh, Bell is in this one. But I would love to see a pink Kyle Walker. A pink Kyle Walker would be amazing, man. You know what? I'm going to go with the sweaty option here and go for Kyle Walker. Even though there's like David Luiz, David Luiz, there's no point. He's got a team of the year card, you know. Um, Alaba, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't really use Bundesliga teams anyway, so I'm gonna go with Kyle Walker. I would love him to have a pink card. And um, Bell is winning. So Bell is winning, which is uh, not that surprising, I guess, because Bell was only had his inform, which is a which is a central card. I'm not sure if the pink card is gonna be a right mid or not. But uh, Kyle Walker is the least voted, which is surprising because he's probably the most OP um, right back in the Premier League. So that was uh, surprising. Perfect link. Let's see this. So perfect link. Matches made in heaven. Same club and nationality is a deadly combination. So Megidi Coleman, Pastore Levetzi, um, Jordi Alba Pedro, or Barzelli and Chiellini, Gandawan and Royce. Now, if Chiellini didn't have a team of season card, I would vote for this perfect link because um, Barzelli doesn't have a special card. But since it's this uh, this sort of situation, I'm going to go with Gandawan and uh, Royce because I would love Royce to have a pink card. I don't really care about Gandawan, but Royce would be amazing as a pink. So let's go for them. And wow. Okay, so uh, <laughs> okay, so I guess we're definitely going to get a Royce and Gandawan pink cards. 
that is not surprising at all actually because like the the plays that they put in that is not that great but anyway Royce and Ganduan look like the best ones um, in in honor of the men who leave opponents in the dust so I'm guessing pace all right so we have Ibarbo who's a right winger so I don't really care about him unless he was a striker then yeah but Ramos is a very overpowered player so he's probably one of the best um, Bundesliga strikers you can get and Manika, I haven't seen him that much honestly uh, this year being used. Ramirez probably one of the most overpowered plays in the midfield in the Premier League but my, my vote has to go for Dumbiel. I use him and he's just so sweaty but that's the play I'm gonna go for. Like I said guys make sure you let me know in the comments uh, who you guys vote for when you um, when you've done this so I'm definitely gonna go for Dumbia just because he is just a player that I actually use so Dumbia is gonna get my vote and um, looks like we're gonna get a, a pink Dumbia card which is not you know that's not surprising he's a he's one of the most popular players in foot this year thanks for voting in the footies if you played any poll if you missed any polls use the link below to go back to them otherwise you can check back at any time for your progress on the voting voting closes at 12 midnight uh july 12th uk time okay so there you go guys those are my votes for the footies so hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below who you guys vote for hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hope you guys have a very nice day